41% of people say that social media plays a part in them choosing their next healthcare provider. 77% of people say that they will search and look at online reviews as a first step in choosing their next provider. 84% of consumers say that they trust online reviews as much as a recommendation from a friend or family member. And 91% of people will look at online reviews regardless of if they trust them or not. Hey everybody, it's Ben Fung with UpDoc Media, and I want to share with you something really interesting that I observed over this early half of fall conference season 2018. Having attended Ascend by WebPT and the Fall Nera Conference by the National Association of Rehabilitation Providers and Agencies. Whew, say that five times fast. Having attended that, I had the opportunity to connect with a lot of practice owners and managers of all sizes, settings, specialties. What was interesting was the frustration in marketing. And the frustration was this. Word of mouth marketing isn't working the same way it used to. Referral-based marketing isn't working the same way it used to. Everyone seems to have this conventional wisdom that we have to go digital, we have to go to social media, have better websites, have better search returns, have better emails, but it's hard to measure what's going on and it's hard to implement. How do I know if this is working? But ultimately, it goes back to certain principles what made word of mouth marketing so strong back in the 80s and 90s. The same principles that's gonna help you solve your marketing efforts 2.0. Thinking back on word of mouth marketing and why it works so well, it's because the internet wasn't around. And the fact that most practices had one primary conversion channel, in fact, most businesses had one primary conversion channel and that was the phone call. Word of mouth worked very, very well because you funneled everybody down to the one purchasing action step that they had available to them. But things have changed now, especially with the internet of things, there's so many channels that you can spread the word out. There's so many places that you can use your technologies for purchasing behaviors. And for these reasons, word of mouth marketing isn't what it used to be. But the good news is the behavior, the consumer behavior is still around. It's on all your social media platforms, it's on your websites, it's on that search bar, it is everywhere and all you have to do is capture it. 41% of people say that social media plays a part in them choosing their next healthcare provider. 77% of people say that they will search and look at online reviews as their first step in choosing their next provider. 84% of consumers say that they trust online reviews as much as a recommendation from a friend or family member. And 91% of people will look at online reviews regardless of if they trust them or not. Now this is where things get kind of crazy. 43% of baby boomers admit to using social media to investigate their health conditions and health concerns. 60% of healthcare consumers admit that they trust group entities and provider social media handles more than organizations. 84% of healthcare consumers admit that they will search online for a drug concern or a health concern and almost half of those people searching are actively looking for a provider. 80% of smartphone users admit to touching or using their phone the first thing they do in the morning, even before they brush their teeth. This is where we need to meet our customers. And the first step should be obvious, online reviews. There's so many ways you can capture and filter and survey your customers to make sure you have good online reviews. Secondly, you have a huge opportunity on your social media platforms to demonstrate your personality. Another low hanging fruit to get your word out there are Facebook check-ins. The majority of people in the healthcare consumer world most of your patients are on Facebook in one fashion or another. And a great way for them to let their people know that they're at your practice getting fantastic care experiences is simply having them check in. It doesn't take much and you can just put up a little sign as they enter for Facebook check-in. Some practices are developing a corporate social responsibility avenue for Facebook check-ins. And what they do is they promise to donate to a charitable organization for every X amount of Facebook check-ins. Good cause just to pull out your phone and check in? Why not? Get your word out. Word of mouth 2.0. Communication, trustworthiness, location, and what they term congeniality are the four primary characteristics that healthcare consumers are looking for in their providers. They want somebody they can connect with and trust in a meaningful way, though the location thing seems to be important, but not as much as one would think. 70% of respondents to this one study said that location matters. I want to be close to my healthcare provider, but 68% of them followed up a question saying that they're willing to go out of their way to a better healthcare provider if it promises better attributes of a provider, better outcomes, better service experience, better connection and more trust. So how do you cultivate trust? Show them. Show them that other people trust you. Real people, real stories, real care experiences. You can fall back on exactly what you've been doing. Of all the people that check in, of all the people that are dropping you positive reviews, 
Find one or two brand champions a month and tell their story. Not about how awesome your practice is, but about how they recovered. Let them use their own words to describe their care experience at your practice. There's so much we can talk about here at UpDoc Media when it comes to digital marketing and branding and consumer engagement. There's just so, this is what we live. This is what we do and we love it. And we love helping other businesses and other practices thrive on these principles and on these action plans. So if you want to learn more about digital marketing, go ahead and click on the link below. It sends you to a place where you can receive 12 marketing articles you need to read to grow your practice. As always, thanks so much for watching another UpDoc Media production. I'm Ben Fung, and I will see you next time.